You guys know what the saddest song in the world is? Got, you guys got an idea? Probably, probably think it's subjective, right? It's unique to the person, the individual. When people say like that Sarah McLachlan song. It's a, sad, it's a sad one. It's a sad one. You know? Everybody Hurts. People say that's a good, that's, it is a good sad song. It's not the saddest one, though. I'm going to tell you, sad song in the world. It's universal. It's Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Not Margaritaville as it was written. Margaritaville, when it was written, that's not a real place. That's just some fictional beach location where some middle-aged fuck-up can go like, ah, oh, God, I guess I screwed things up. Oh, well, cold drink, toe in the sand. What are you going to do? <laughs> no. Margaritaville now. Now that we know Margaritaville is a real brick-and-mortar restaurant attached to shopping malls throughout the Midwest, now sing those lyrics, and that shit's the darkest song you've ever heard. <laughs> Not Margaritaville, some made-up island that you could only get to with one of them airplanes with the hot dogs on the bottom of it, no. <laughs> Margaritaville, number 218, Schaumburg, Illinois. Let's say sometime late February. Now let's go over those lyrics. Just some guy after a lunch rush, like bar back, 19 years old, wiping off laminate menus in the corner. You know. The whole time, there's just a sobbing divorcee sitting at the bar. Just some guy still in his Comcast uniform. Just... <laughs> some people say this is a woman to blame. <laughs> but I know. get your shit together right now? There's families in here, bro. Now I can box up these coconut shrimps. You could eat them in the van, but you can't be doing this shit in here right now. I'm just looking for my lost shaker soul. Yeah, what the fuck does that even mean? There's one on every table. <laughs> Joke's gonna be real good when I learn more lyrics to Margarita. 